Hi, today's book is Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug. See if you can guess why the hug is impossible for him. Today's book is written by Jonathan Stutzman and illustrated by Jay Fleck. If you enjoy these read-alouds, make sure to subscribe so you get alerts when new ones are posted. Hello, Pointy! Are you okay? Not today. I feel sad. I do not want to play. I have tiny arms. It is very difficult to hug with my tiny arms. Each day I am growing taller, but my arms are still tiny. Hugging almost seems impossible for Rex as tiny as me, but I will try anyway. Pointy needs me. What a great friend. Here is my father. I will ask him for advice. Hello, father. He's so cute on top of his head. Rexes are thinkers, not huggers. Perhaps instead of hugs, mathematics might be the answer to your problem. Pointy does not like math. Math will only make Pointy feel worse. Hello, Auntie Junip. I have a problem. I must learn how to hug, but my arms are too tiny. I have found that balance is the key to every problem. Balance and freshly squeezed cucumber juice. Mm, that is disgusting. I will ask my mother for help instead. I have fallen and now I'm lost. I do not think I will find my mother in here. Hello, mother. It's okay if you can't hug Tiny. You are good at so many other things. You are kind and creative and braver than most. You are tiny, but your heart is big. I cannot hug with my heart, mother. I must learn to hug with my arms. Hello, sister and brother. Please help me. Hugging is very difficult. We'd love to help, Tiny. To do the impossible, you must plan and practice. Practice, practice, practice. Thank you, Trixie and Rory. That is good advice. I will plan my strategy. I will get stronger. I will practice very hard. I will practice my hugs on everything, even on ice cream cones. I will not practice on that anymore. Why do you think he won't practice on a cactus anymore? Too prickly? I am almost ready. I will practice one more time, and when I'm done, I will find my friend. This tree is very big like pointy, so I will hug it. This is not a tree. Ah, oh, I have made a mistake. Please help. From up here, everything looks so tiny like me. I could hug anything I wanted. Do you know what kind of dinosaur that's called? A pterodactyl. And it's interesting because even though it sounds like it starts with a T, pterodactyl, it actually starts with a silent letter P. Isn't that weird? Now I am falling. I should not have let go. Now I will never find Pointy. Do you think he'll find Pointy? <gasps> Hello, Pointy. He landed right on him. Hello, Tiny. Still doesn't look very happy, does he? I am here to make you feel better. I have practiced very hard and hugged many things. My arms are still tiny and my hugs are still tiny, but I will do my very best because you are my very best friend. How sweet. Thank you, Tiny. That was the biggest hug ever. Probably not just because he's hugging somebody who's big, but because it meant so much. What are some ways that you show people that you care about, that you love them, or try to cheer them up? Do you draw them pictures? Do you give them hugs too? Do you sing for them? Do you give them compliments? Think about what kind of things you do for the people that you love in your life. 